we're going to look uh, at uh, heat of formation and uh, how to find the, the heat of a reaction. Uh, this delta H here stands for the heat of reaction. And uh, one way of doing this is by looking at the bonds breaking. So here we have an, a reaction coordinate with potential energy. The reactants have to break bonds. Um, and then they get into their transition state and then to uh, make new bonds. And this here is an example of an exothermic reaction. And the delta H in this case would be negative. Now you could also apply this for an endothermic reaction, obviously. Now using the energy diagram, this allows us to, um, to look specifically um, at the amount of energy needed for this process. Now a simple process, a um, so way of simplifying some of this information is uh, when you have elements coming together like hydrogen and oxygen, uh, these produce water. And the production of water, again, um, this is a combustion reaction of hydrogen with oxygen. You get two moles of hydrogen to make two moles of water. And the heat for this reaction um, is also called the heat of formation because you're forming water. So this is called the delta H sub F, heat of formation. And this has a value of negative 286 kilojoules per mole. Uh, <coughs> whenever you form a compound from its individual elements, uh, you can also simplify this reaction here so that you have H2 plus a half of an O2 making a water. And the delta H for this reaction is still negative 286 kilojoules per mole. And because it's a mole of the water you're making here, both of these reactions are showing the same um, information. So sometimes chemists will use this reaction because it's just a little easier to work with, even though it has the half and it's not a full uh, complete number there. Now, when you form a compound here, you're making bonds. So making bonds is like forming a compound. So breaking bonds would be like the opposite of forming. So when we look at our delta H equation, it's the energy to break bonds minus the energy that is um, used to make these bonds. So the energy here, um, when you're looking at bond energies, this is a, an equation, a way of showing those bond energies. When you're looking at heat of formation data, when you have heat of formation data, this data is usually found experimentally. And you can look this up on a table. It's called a heat of formation table, standard heat of formation table. So to look at an example of a problem like this, in our lab manual, if we turn to page F185, uh, the first reaction here is magnesium oxide number one. It's a magnesium oxide solid plus H2O liquid makes magnesium hydroxide solid. Now in this reaction here, you're going to have uh, new compounds formed and other compounds broken down. So to calculate the total delta H for this reaction, what we do is we consider the, uh, the sum of all the bonds formed. So we take the sum of the heat of formation data of all the products and we subtract because the reactants are going through the opposite process. They're breaking down, not forming. So we subtract the sum of the heat of formation of the reactants. So this process here is showing um, the amount of energy for the entire uh, the entire reaction. So to do this for this example equation, what we can do is we can look up the values for each of these here. So the first product we have is magnesium hydroxide. And on the back of F185, we look this up and this value has uh, negative 925.0, and that's kilojoules per mole. 
and then we look at our reactants MgO has a negative 602 kilojoules per mole and our water has a value of liquid water negative 286 kilojoules per mole so what we need to do is we need to take the value of the products so the delta H the first product is the magnesium hydroxide there's one mole of it times the negative 925 kilojoules per mole it's the only product we have so that's the sum and then we subtract the sum of all the reactants so the first one we've got one mole of magnesium oxide times negative 602 kilojoules per mole and then we add to that we got one mole of water times the negative 286 kilojoules per mole. Oh, there we go. So there we go, kilojoules per mole. <coughs> so now what we need to do is we need to add these two over here up first, and again using the uh, <coughs> scientific calculator makes this step a lot easier plugging it in but all we do here is we take uh, 1 times 602 and this is going to equal negative 602 kilojoules plus negative 286 kilojoules and when we add those two together we get a value of negative 888 kilojoules this value over here is the negative 925 kilojoules when we multiply out the moles and now to find the delta H we just add these two numbers up so to speak so we got negative 925 minus negative 888 so uh, negative 925 minus negative 888 gives us a delta H value of negative 37.0 kilojoules and that is known as the heat of reaction for magnesium oxide plus liquid water making magnesium hydroxide and that is how to find the energy change for a chemical reaction given the uh, heat of formation data let's look at a second example so if we look at a second example let's look at um, example number six so on number six we have CH4 gas plus 2O2 gas makes CO2 gas plus H2O liquid and there's two of these here okay. so we set up our products minus our reactants so the first product I have is CO2 so I got one mole of that we look up the value of CO2 gas and it's negative 393.5 okay then we add 2 times the liquid water which is negative 286 that all goes here and then we subtract the reactant side which is CH4 CH4 gas is negative 75 and there's one mole so I'm not including that in there and then the two moles of the oxygen gas and you look of oxygen and it's not there on the table the reason why is oxygen gas is a element so its value is zero so this gives us here <coughs> a zero here negative 75 so it's negative 75.0 minus that and then you got 393.5 plus and this should give us a value of negative 965.5 and then we're subtracting from that 75 negative 75 sorry and this gives us a total delta H value of negative 890.5 kilojoules. 
which is what you expect for methane. 890.5 kilojoules for the reaction, and you got one mole here, so its value is 891 kilojoules per mole, negative, and this is approximately what we have been working with for our delta H for the combustion of methane. So those are some ways um, to use Hess's law to determine the heat of a reaction.